Welcome guys, Pesci FPV back again and today we are adding GPS to a standard, um, I guess this is a cinematic rig for me but I've freestyled it as well so there's nothing particularly special about it in terms of it being set up for long range other than we're adding the uh, Bataillon BN880Q GPS for the six pins. Um, this is another one I've got for another rig so you can see the one I have fitted here. Um, this is obviously the air, this is the antenna bit, this foil with the ceramic sheet over it, so that always needs to be facing the sky. Um, you can see I've got the cables running down the back of my um, GoPro mount here. Um, just because it was like the highest spot, furthest away from anything that I could put it, um, I can't put it on the arms because I've got the um, LEDs on there. So yeah, we're going to test it up there for now. Um, it all fits with the GoPro on there. Um, and then let's just talk about the wiring. So um, the pin out has got six pins on it. So you've got your ground, your five volt, your TX, your RX, your SDC and SCCL, I think um on here now from i had a bit of trouble wiring it up um and getting all six cables into the right place so i ended up using two separate uarts for the uh gps system um i've got uh uart two here which is running the um TX, RX, ground and 5 volt in this area. This was just broken out nice and easy on the side here. Um, and then I've then got your, what would go to the pads SCCL or an SDC um, is where these two would go normally. And instead of just using a spare UR I had, um, and it all seems to be working. So um, yeah, if you do have this set up, with the six cables where most of the instructional videos I could find were all with just four. So, um, yeah, if you do get um, a GPS system like this one, the A80Q, then you can simply use this um, extra UR as long as you've got a spare UR or make sure your flight controller's got the right output for it, uh, the right pads for it in the first place and you won't have the problem. Um, I had my cap was soldered on here so I just trimmed that off because it was sitting in the back down over here so I've now moved that onto my direct onto the power in um, and that seems to work it just perfectly fits through that gap there which is good um, so yeah I guess the next bit is to test it um, I'll show you some image of beta flight with it plugged in and fired up so you can kind of see the settings there and yeah we're going to go and test this in a minute and see if gps rescue works which will be interesting